Yo guys, it's Sam, and the iPhone XS and iPhone XR are pretty interesting, but what really shocked me from Apple's September event when they were talking about new products up on stage was everything that you're getting with the Apple Watch Series 4. I was not expecting as many upgrades as Apple added, and without question, the Apple Watch Series 3 to the Apple Watch Series 4 definitely feels like a much larger upgrade than the iPhone X to the iPhone XS. So I wanna tell you my top four features and why I'm so excited. So by looking at the Apple Watch Series 4, you can tell the first big upgrade here is a larger screen. Apple says they are 30% larger than the 38 and 42 millimeter versions of the Apple Watch prior to the Apple Watch Series 4. The new respective sizes are 40 and 44 millimeters. Now, as soon as you hear that, you might be asking, do my existing bands still work? And the answer to that is yes. Apple made that clear on stage. We've been hearing rumors that that would be the case. And it's true. You don't have to go out and buy any new bands for the Apple Watch Series 4. The band that I have on the Series 3 right now should work totally fine, which is exciting. I was worried Apple was gonna make everybody upgrade and do a very Apple-esque move, but you don't have to. All of your existing bands work, which is cool. And taking a closer look at this display to highlight the edge-to-edgeness factor of it, Apple basically applied the iPhone 10 design to the Apple Watch this year and even created a special watch face to highlight the new edge-to-edge -edge capabilities. There's also support, I think, for up to eight complications on this watch face, and uh, I'm just legitimately excited to get my hands on the Apple Watch Series 4. I love the Apple Watch Series 3. Having a bigger screen and what I'm going to talk about next, a bigger processor, is going to be really cool. So after the bigger screen is a faster processor. Apple is calling it the S4 this year, and they say it's going to get up to 50% faster. But the upgrades don't stop there. It's not just another processor. It's actually a huge jump from the Apple Watch Series 3 to the Apple Watch Series 4 because it's no longer 32-bit. You're getting a dual-core S4 64-bit processor on the Apple Watch Series 4, which is crazy. I didn't think the Apple Watch would already be jumping to 64-bit computing, and I'm so excited to see if apps will work better. That's been one of my biggest gripes with the Apple Watch since the very first one, the Series 0 from 2015. I loved it, but apps have always been a little bit lackluster, a little bit behind. So I'm hoping that with this larger screen, with this faster processor, developers will start developing apps for the Apple Watch again. I know Twitter, I think, discontinued their app. Instagram discontinued their Apple Watch app. And I always thought that they were sort of somewhat useful. Like the app support being there was really nice. I definitely used Instagram on the watch and it was a cool feature. So maybe these upgrades will spur app development once again because I think that's the biggest problem with the Apple Watch. And if Apple can make developers excited to make apps again, which is I think what the Apple Watch Series 4 is going to do, using the Apple Watch is just going to be a really Really great experience. Now those are the features that I was expecting to hear about. I knew Apple would get up on stage and talk about the bigger screen and more complications and a faster processor. There's also some other cool stuff with the Apple Watch Series 4 like the fact that the speaker is supposedly going to get 50% louder and the fact that they relocated the microphone port so that it will be less echoey when you're on a phone call. That stuff's neat too. But Apple also got up on stage and talked about something I was not expecting. Actually two things I was not expecting to hear that have totally blown me away and really made me like Apple as a company. Like it really makes me feel like they care about people rather than just pushing out new products like the Apple Watch every year. And the first one of those features is fall detection. Now, somebody my age, I'm about 20 years old, I don't really fall that often. And when I do, I have a really easy time getting myself back up because I'm young. Uh, but if you're older, falling is a really big deal and it can totally hinder your life and make living really hard, especially if you fall when nobody else is home, maybe hit your head, maybe injure yourself to the point where you can't move or you can't get up. Well, with the Apple Watch Series 4, this is incredible. Apple has introduced fall detection. And while it sounds easy to do, Apple said it was actually really hard. And if you basically fall down, and I believe you're, you don't interact with the watch or you don't move for 60 seconds after it detects a fall, it's going to, I believe, uh, number one, dial emergency services, and then number two, notify your family of your location and also like the fact that you need help that you've fallen. And what I like about this feature so much is that nobody was asking for fall detection. And probably most people that use an Apple Watch aren't above the age of 40 or 50, if I had to guess 
address the demographics. But the fact that if you are older and you are prone to falling, like buying an Apple Watch Series 4 is no longer just a gadget or just a watch. Like it is a health and safety device that could totally end up saving your life if you fell and became unresponsive or couldn't get up and get to a phone to call for emergency services. I think that is so, so cool. Mad respect and mad props to Apple for introducing that feature. But I think that's slightly less cool than the fourth feature I want to highlight in this video. There is now a built-in ECG, also known as an EKG, electrocardiogram in the Apple Watch. So this is insane. Pretty much before today, there was no over-the-counter way to buy an electrocardiogram or EKG, ECG device before Apple put it in the Apple Watch Series 4. It can detect things like atrial fibrillation, also known as AFib, where your heartbeat is irregular, and that can lead to numerous health problems, health complications, and the Apple Watch Series 4 is gonna tell you if it detects that. You can also just run an EKG on your watch if you suffer from heart problems or you have a family history of things like heart disease. And the reason I'm so excited for this feature is because it's making things that used to be really hard to do or to get accessible. Anybody that owns an Apple Watch Series 4 can now run an EKG on their own by themselves by pressing or tapping on the screen. It's insane. It's really cool. Again, mad props to Apple for introducing this. I think, uh, and we don't have any data to back this up yet, but I think with the introduction of the Apple Watch Series 4, this is going to revolutionize like taking healthcare into your own hands. It's going to be crazy. Like I'm definitely getting chills thinking about it because if you would have told somebody 30 years ago, heck, even 10 years ago that they could have an EKG built into their watch, uh, they would lose their mind, especially for people that have a history of heart issues that, that need to monitor that on the regular. It's gonna be so much less invasive now, and I'm very, very excited to just test it out for myself, to have my heart rate constantly uh, measured so that I can know if there is something going on that I wouldn't have known about without having an Apple Watch. Those are the four features that I wanna talk about in this video. Let me know your thoughts on all of this down below. Does this excite you? Do you like that Apple is really doing something different with the Apple Watch Series 4? Never have I heard of another company putting an EKG into their smartwatch. I think this is so neat, I can't say that enough, and um, I wanna hear all your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, drop a like, and of course, subscribe for more videos on Apple in the future. For now, I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.